Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. I promised you guys I hit 100 subscribers. I would do a video every weekend. Well, this is an update video on everything that's going on that is going on. Well, <laughs> freaking lights. I also want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you and all my new followers on TikTok and Instagram and so far, so forth. Anyway, thank you all for all your support. Thank you. Next goal, uh, 125 for... The YouTube and 500 for TikTok and Instagram, all the other all the other social media. Anyway, we're on our way. Um, today, uh, just gonna be doing update video with everything. The uh, it's been kind of hectic with work last week. It's crazy. Anyway, um, with this guy, the blue sled, we still have to rearrange the motor, figure out what's going on with it. I gotta pull the whole front end of this thing apart because in the last video of that. Uh, we were doing that we were messing around with timing and stuff but something is going on with the timing and the funny thing is I pulled the number off of block of this thing right this is not a 2.8 block that the original owner and when we got it told us that it was it is not the block is a 2.9 and <clears throat> what they did is researching this guy up a little bit I walk over here this guy's an old Mustang 90s Mustang conversion kit or older um, 80 style conversion kit to a Mustang conversion to the power of the uh, ignition module okay that would be your ignition module they convert us over to carbureted cool okay that's fine the ignition module but anyway when we were out here looking through everything this bundle of mess that we all know about this bundle of mess if you look at this thing this is all the wiring because if you guys watched previous video with my chuck wagon i had to go through all this crap and rewire this thing because you know if you look at it there's some plugs here like the inline fuse switch here's um this one here is for the um injector harness and some other miscellaneous stuff that are on this thing like here's the intake um map sensor and other stuff but if you go down here to this one here's all the original 2.9 Here's the old clip for the ignition box that goes on the back of the distributor and some other stuff that's sitting here and all the EVAP control system stuff, which is not going to do anything because this is all carbureted. So, yeah, we're going to be going through all that. And if it is the case, I'm just going to yank the computer out of it, pull all that wiring out of there, done. But that's the last thing I'm worried. But back to the motor, it's a 2.9. This distributor, I don't think, is... It'll work, but we gotta pull this whole timing cover off and everything up front here and figure out if the chain and the freaking cam is all lined up and everything because it is just so far off that it's just not running right. I mean, it runs, but as soon as you just put it under load or open the throttle, it pop, 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 starts spitting and, and, and backfiring up through the carburetor. So we got a little issue going on with that. But everything else, the valves and everything, compression test, like I showed you guys, that was all great and everything. Uh, it's just ah, something's going on I don't know what yet we haven't figured it out yet but we want to get it running because I want to get this one out of here get it done I get the other one in here I want to finish up a couple things on that thing and uh, another idea I have with that one so then hopefully when it starts warming up in like March April in the next month and a half or two months that uh, we can take these things out and actually go playing the dirt with them so Especially this one. I'll beat the crap out of this one because I really don't care because it's burn fine. <laughs> Other than that, that's the update with that. Uh, update with everything else. Yes, live streams are coming back. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what day. I'm going to do it on Sundays in the evening or I'm going to do it Saturdays in the evening. Um, thinking about it right now, Saturdays in the evening would probably be better. Because Sundays I travel to and from Vegas every two weeks, so it's kind of hard to do a live stream when I get home after driving for, you know, a thousand miles round trip um, on Sundays to do the live streams. Um, it's just, it's kind of hard when I get home. I just want to be like, ugh, uh, you know. And I don't want to set a time for you guys saying, hey, a live stream is going to start at 6.30 and I'm stuck in traffic and nothing's up. But anyway, I'm just mumbling on about that. But I know we're also going to, uh, a couple things we got going on in the garage too we're gonna fix and these shelves over here in these corners um, I want to get them this tall I do have this stuff to, to finish them I just gotta move this shelf stuff and this crap 
organize this place because I mean it is a freaking freaking disaster it is all a mess um, I get the toolbox organized the pegboards organized this shelf organized I'd like to be able to get to my parts washer and other stuff and I got a couple new things I want to show you guys but I can't right now but um, let's just say it's gonna be some awesome stuff um, it's going good it's actually wrong. Um, I'm coming up on my next oil change. To actually, finally, finally finish breaking the motor in, and it, it will be completely up to up to completely broken in. Like I said, I don't drive it much. I drove this last week. It's working great. I love how having a gas gauge works. Just like how much fuel's left in it. Unlike before, with uh, you know, when it wasn't working, uh, we do gotta do a couple things on it. We gotta check. Uh, maintenance routine maintenance today like oil and stuff like that so um just kind of easy stuff but other than that that's all we're gonna be doing i'm not gonna be f i'm looking at um getting a uh, some parts for this as well i want to fix a couple things on it possibly depending on how much they cost but i want to get panels for the bed because we all know this is all like rusted out here and there's paneling and they're broken in the corners and you know i've looked for full beds at junkyards and whatever else you know but i can't find it i got a little bit of rust here i can probably take care of real easy um the other side paneling on the bed too is, is still all messed up it's, it's like you know it's the same it's a little worse though see it's like completely done on so that's all i want to get panels for that and then just cut those out and put them in before i actually get ready to paint the bed i want to do something interesting I fill all these holes in, get these all filled in. Uh, possibly get a flat piece of stock still here and get rid of this um, junk panel because it doesn't work anyway. Splice that in, make it look like one solid piece, and then just the outlining of this. Tape this off when I paint it, and just make this like black letters or red letters or blue letters or whatever. And I'm just gonna when I get ready to paint it here when it starts warming up. Too cold to paint. I'm just guess the couple other lights too to put on there uh, a couple off-road lights on its way uh, we're gonna put on there just for a little lighting this one's probably gonna get the same same setup I do have those that I've had there for almost a year they've been hanging come March it'll be a year with those I've still put them on I'm gonna put a set on this one as well I also want to get tow bars uh, hitches for both these guys it's pretty much all the updates say the mini train the mini train is in the other unit hasn't done much i got an issue with the lawnmower the thing is dead i gotta see about going over there here in a minute and uh trying to start the thing because it is dead uh, last time i tried to move it they just and that was it battery's dead i gotta see if i can just throw the charger on it uh today the float charger just charge it back up uh, so i gotta redesign the seats on those things because the way i designed them did quite work we might have to add in uh, a couple of pieces to support the seats a little better but other than that um that thing's still running still going good i want to do something else because i got those other barrels if we all know about it i want to build me like a, a couple other things i'm not going to tell you guys yet but i've been a couple ideas kicking around the head like i want to be have a smoker or something um uh, one of them because everybody thinks oh buy a smoker okay eight hundred dollars to a thousand no thanks it's just me mumbling on. This is just mainly a talking video. Uh, we're just going to be running around today. It is the girlfriend's birthday. We're having a little party tonight. That's just going to be interesting. We're just going to hang out with a couple friends. Play some games. Have some fun. I'm not sure what else we're going to do tonight. Um, just kind of hang out. Uh, maybe I'll catch some video of that for you guys later. Or something. Maybe if you're my follower on my TikTok. You might be able to get a couple of clips of what we're doing tonight. Just kind of hanging out. Maybe we'll do a live stream tonight. Maybe Saturday. Yeah, maybe I'll do a live stream tonight. Just kind of hang out where you guys can come chill with us. Back and forth on everything. Um, wish I could live stream on TikTok. I'd have more more fun with that with everybody coming. Holy hell. You should have just seen what I just saw running around. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> anyway. We're just out running around. Enjoy day. Out in the, out in the uh, check wagon. Just get some things done. Uh, I gotta stop by a couple stores, pick up a few things, go to the grocery store. I guess you guys can take along as well. Just kind of, I don't know, 
update, let's say this is just a, like, like I said earlier, maybe an update video and or, I don't know, kind of enjoy my life like behind the scenes type stuff I do before everything actually happens, so kind of like day in life type thing. Anyway. We'll get where we're going and uh, anyway, back to what I saw, uh, it was kind of like a parade. It's like 30 degrees out here in Salt Lake right now. They got their doors open. The kids are in the cars with the fans. The doors are open on the fans. And there's people inside the vans. I should have had the camera rolling at the time. Because, oh my god, it was so freaking hilarious. <laughs> That's great. But it was, it was, it was super. All right, guys. Well, we're here at our first stop. I was going remember. <laughs> Still want these masks, man. Great. Love them. Gotta get some new ones. This was getting dirty. Yeah. We're at our first stop. I'm not sure if it will record, but, uh. Catch you guys uh, a little bit. Ooh, that was fun. Anyway, next stop, fun store. <laughs> Just kidding, we gotta go to Walmart. I really wanna go there, but uh, it's close. That makes the next two stops real easy to get to. Get out of this tangled mess here. All right, guys, well, here we are. Take a picture. We're out shopping, yay! Enjoy the day. Oh, well, man. <laughs> Already seen some crazy stuff in the park a lot. I should have filmed it, but yeah, I need to get the horn fixed on the truck. Keep forgetting about that damn thing. Let me get the horn fixed. Get the horn on it. So we look at that when we get home. Maybe we'll order one. Really want an air horn on that thing. All right, guys. Well, we're done. Well, we're back home. I'm just gonna get ready for the party, but uh, kind of a little inside story with that. Uh, daily stuff. Maybe we'll do like a behind the scenes stuff. Maybe just like do a day in life thing with me or whatever. Just kind of go through my whole day or whatever. But other than that, guys, thank you for all my new subscribers and everything. Um, probably do a video tomorrow with the trucks. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. Let's do some fun stuff.